Start with your back leg elevated on something like a chair or box and holding a weight, slowly descend into a squat. Make sure that your front leg is doing all the work and all the force is being generated through there. For this workout, every time you've finished 10 reps of the exercise, you'll be doing 10 burpees. After the 10 burpees, do the same exercise as the first one, except to switch the leg that was in the back with the opposite leg. This exercise can be done on the floor or on the BOSU ball. One rep is bringing your knees in, bring them out, and then bring them up in a V. Do 10 reps of these and then 10 more burpees. For this exercise, you're doing two tricep push-ups, jumping up, and then doing two rows. One set is the two push-ups and then the two rows. To make the push-ups easier, you can do them on your knees or without the weights. For this exercise, start in a plank position. Grab the weight and bring it across your body. Every time you pull the weight across your body, do a push-up. Once you've done 10 push-ups, you're done this set. You can do this exercise without the weights to make them easier. Make sure that your back is straight and you're getting as low as you can to really work your glutes. Try to avoid letting your knee go over your toes in this exercise. For this exercise, you're doing the same one as before, except on the left leg this time. Make sure that you're still doing 10 burpees after each round of exercises. You can do this exercise either on the ground or with the BOSU ball flipped upside down. Make sure that your back is tight and your lower back isn't dropping during each push-up. For this exercise, have your hips lifted off the ground and scissor your legs back and forth for 10 reps. So technically you're doing 20 kicks for 10 reps. Using a kettlebell or a dumbbell, lead with your elbows and lift the weight so that your hands are just below your chin. Do 10 reps of these, 10 more burpees, and then you're finished. Congratulations!